Atlantis was the fourth space shuttle This view from atop the vehicle assembly building where Space Shuttle Atlantis just uh, exited. Where there will be a signing ceremony at about 10 a.m. We see Atlantis making its way up. This procession will uh, lead shuttle Atlantis across State Road 405 to the viewing site where Atlantis will stop. The color guard is being followed by the Titusville High School Marching Band.
I don't preside over an agency that's in the history business. That's not what NASA does. We're not a history organization. We're in the business of creating the future. And we're in the business of taking science fiction and turning it into science fact. And I think most of you here realize that. That's what we do. Uh, we take things that people say are impossible, and we make them possible. This magnificent ship behind me is tangible representation of, of a great nation, our hopes and dreams. We couldn't be where we are, poised for tomorrow's progress, without the space shuttle. And there are more exciting things happening right now here at KSC as well as around the agency. A little over a year after the shuttle retired, just this week, we completed the first commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. A little company called SpaceX launched Dragon from right over there at Cape Canaveral. It's the first of many such launches, and we're well on track to once again launch American astronauts from U.S. soil in the next few years. I want to thank all the crews here today who flew Atlantis in space. I want to thank the workforce that sent her successfully to orbit again and again. And I also want to thank the American public at large for making this, this incredible dream and achievement possible that we all share today. Our best days are ahead of us, with the shuttle as our tailwind. Godspeed, Atlantis, on your next mission of inspiration and motivation. Although it's the end of Atlantis flying in space, it's not the end. It's not the end for KSC. We're charging into the future, preparing for commercial operations to low Earth orbit, for exploration once again beyond our home planet, continuing to meet NASA's science missions with our expendable rockets to get our science missions to Mars and further. From me to all of you, my heartfelt thanks for your dedication, your drive, your hard work, your spirit of discovery that has made all of this possible and continues to make KSC and NASA the great place that it is to work as we charge off into the future. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel. Thanks, Cheryl. Uh, thanks to all of you things this team has accomplished in the last 30 years and is going to continue. And Chris is always so eloquent when he talks. Bob is always. And I'm not calling names, but I was looking for my crew members who were with me on Atlantis, and there's somebody back there and all that. But it's great to be here. Um, Dave and I were, we were among the crew and the backups who had the privilege of celebrating the anniversary of uh, the 20th anniversary.